A while back, I tested the most absurd one-star theme park reviews I could find across all of America. However, if you remember the video, I didn't ride any real roller coasters because I'm terrified of them. When I was little, I rode the Iron Rattler at Six Flags, and I hated it so much, I vowed to never ride a roller coaster ever again until today. That's right, I found even more insane one-star theme park reviews, and my only rule for this challenge is I have to leave a five-star review at each theme park, but I can't lie. First up, Gollywood. It feels like I'm in a little fairy tale right now. This is so fun. Dollywood is in Tennessee. There's a theme park, a water park, cabins, and much more. Dollywood is interesting because it claims to be the number one theme park in America. The same America that boasts places like Disney World, Universal Studios, and Gatorland. I don't know much about Gatorland. I, I don't want to go there, actually. Do I want to live in an America where Dollywood is the number one theme park? Not if Kate is right about this place. Kate left a one-star review and said, This place is absolute shot. One star. I'm not going to say the bad word there. Reading between the lines, it seems like Kate doesn't really like it here. But why? One-liners feel cooler if I turn around when I say them, I don't know. A ton of the one-star reviews for Dollywood are about the food. Seth P said, I love Dollywood. I'm a seasoned pass holder for many years. I love the cinnamon bread, make me happy. Got some to take home today. When I got home, I detected there was no cinnamon or sugar on it. Just a loaf of white bread. What the fork? I put my reputation on the line. To my peers, I told them all, Dollywood have the best theme park food. And you make me look stupid on my family. No cinnamon, no sugar, scam artists. One star. That escalated so quickly, I feel like I need to take a seat for a moment. Okay, I feel better. Anyway, Starla said, mm, don't get the tornado dog. One star. She also attached a photo captioned, don't you dare. I think that's the tornado dog. Other than food, the main complaint is wait times. Like, listen to what Charlie said. Lines. We spent the entire day waiting in lines. Lines to get in. Lines to get checked. Lines to measure kids. Lines for food. Lines for rides. I came home exhausted, but I forced myself to Photoshop a new sign for your park. Lines would. One star. This is an unprecedented level of hating. That's crazy. I did arrive in the late afternoon, so hopefully I get to have a little fun. Hopefully I'm not waiting the whole time <laughs> on things. Lastly, Ethan said, Don't ride any rides if you are a kid. I am on a school trip. A lot of us don't feel good. We rode the rides. I am going to feel bad on the bus now. One star. Maybe I should have stayed at school and learned about commas, Ethan. <laughs> Holy smokes. That's wild. No, that's literally not a single punctuation. That's crazy. With all due respect, Ethan did bring up my biggest concern about filming this video. Riding roller coasters as a kid. Oh. Oh. God. <sighs> I have an extensive list of concerning one-star reviews to test, so let's get out there. But first, I need to find a silly hat. I walked around the park for a bit looking for a silly hat, and I found the Emporium. Ooh. Ah. The Emporium has an amazing selection of sunglasses, but I decided I probably didn't need them, and the hat selection was just fantastic. I had a very difficult time deciding which is the silliest, so I asked a random lady. Do you think I should purchase this hat? Is it a fun... Absolutely. Absolutely. But I, I think it'd be a good look for you. Okay, and all right. My friends will have one. Okay. Just one silly hat. One silly, one hat. silly hat. That's not silly. It's you cool. have a okay, hat. awesome. Where's the cinnamon bread? Right next door to the cake shop. All right. Hey, thank you guys. And with that, I'm walking right next door to test our first review. This is for you, Seth, and Charlie. Kind of testing multiple reviews at once. I don't know. I'm gonna go get some cinnamon bread. I walked into the bakery and found my first line. I just started a stopwatch, and at the end of my visit to Dollywood, I'm gonna see how much of a percentage of time I spent waiting versus having fun. The line was actually moving at a decent pace, and I had plenty of time to look at all of their fun food items, but now it's time to order. Hello. How can I help you? May I have your finest cinnamon cinnamon bread, please? Once a little bit? Yes. There you go. Thank you. Have a good day. Whoa. Seth, you didn't mention it with a freaking meal. <laughs> We have here a $14 loaf of bread. Let's see if Seth is right, huh? Let's check it out. First of all, it's piping hot. My fingers can barely withstand the heat coming off of this bread. Looks to me like there's cinnamon and sugar on it. All comes down to the taste test, I guess. Will this bite influence my review? Let's find out. I'm here with Seth. Seth? I didn't think about this in the moment, but could this be Seth from the cinnamon bread review? Seth claims to have tried the cinnamon bread recently. What did you think? Pretty delicious. Best part about it is scraping the bottom with a spoon. Oh my, there's a bottom. Did you finish this loaf? Uh, not the whole thing, but 
three fourths of it. Okay, <laughs> it's a good day. It's a good day at Dollywood. So far, there is cinnamon and sugar. I saw a review that said there's no cinnamon and sugar. It's the whole point. For sure, <laughs> that's all it is. Strictly cinnamon and sugar. All right, back to you. There's no one else. With the intel I got from Seth, I scraped the bottom of the pan. This might be the craziest thing I've ever done. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Mm. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in trouble for that. Seth, I bought the cinnamon bread, I tried it, I even confirmed with other park goers, your review is busted. It's busted, I don't even, I can't even defend you at all, Seth. I wanted to, I really want. On my quest to further test Charlie's review about long lines, I found even sillier hats that made me question my purchase. I get insecure pretty easily, okay? I started looking for a ride. This one looks too scary. This one looks pretty fun, but I really don't want to get wet. And that's when I saw bumper cars. And the line doesn't even look that bad. And best of all, I'm tall enough to ride. Okay, I'm here with some park goers and I'm gonna get the inside scoop. How long have you guys been here today? Couple hours. Five hours. Pretty much all day. Can you describe the lines? What are the lines like? They're pretty good. Pretty short, yeah. Yeah. Some people say that this place needs to be changed to to Lineswood. I don't agree. You guys aren't gonna come after me, right? I will. I already have beef. That's crazy. Here we go. Whoa! What the? How do I move? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh! Oh God! Dang! While I was recovering from nausea from the bumper cars, I realized that literally everything here spins. This flying one, these teacups, they can't be having fun. Is it just me? Okay guys, honestly, I have been all around the park. Dollywood is really fun. I understand why they claim to be the number one theme park in America. Everyone here seems so happy. Everyone here seems like they're having a blast. There's some pretty long lines throughout the park, and I'm really fighting to spread my campaign that we should make more rides that don't spin. Why does everything have to spin? Thank you guys. I recruited a posse to spread a narrative. This is my narrative. I did find one part of the park that doesn't have crazy lines, and it's this carnival area. So I think I'm gonna try to win a Pokemon, or whatever that is. I don't know, what, the, what is that? Let's do this. One throw to knock three bottles off. Yeah, but you have three tries. All right, well, can I give it a shot? Sure can. All right. At first glance, this carnival game looked extremely easy to me. You guys may not know this, but I have a pretty good arm. And as you can see, I had people watching that I did not want to let down. <laughs> I'm gonna try one more time. This is my final ticket. I spent $25 on these tickets. I hope I win. And after spending $25, this is my last throw to win a Pokemon prize. Oh. Thank you. All right, thank you guys. Behind me is a ride called Skyrider. On the website, there are little kids riding it and they seem to be having fun. I told myself I wasn't gonna go on a ride that spins until Six Flags, but I have to honor Ethan, I have to. Well, there's no more running from it. Let's do this. There's literally no line, so this is like a sign that I should do it, I think. Are you guys nervous? No. I'm nervous. Good luck, guys. Yeah. See you soon. I literally can't leave. I can't leave. We're moving. Just in case I don't make it, please promise me that on my gravestone, it will read, he was a big boy. Oh my gosh. I just want a tornado dog. Woo! We made it. <laughs> Why was that so disorienting? On my way to grab some food, I saw the black smoke monster from Lost, which was really cool. It's getting dark, it's getting a little spooky at Dollywood, and I am in search of a tornado dog. A tornado dog? Have you heard of it? I haven't heard of it, but I don't know where you can find it, but... That's crazy. I feel like if you go that uh, over here... That way? Yeah, where, have you been on, um... And the ominous... Tornado, have you been on the tornado ride? Tennessee tornado? Oh, that's probably where it is then. It's probably right by it, too. All right, I'll race you. I'm racing you. <laughs> tornado dog time! I have successfully secured a tornado dog and water for the small, small price of $20. This also looks nothing like the review from Starla. I don't necessarily think I wanted to eat what Starla posted. And that was kind of her whole thing, is what even is this? My tornado dog pretty much just looks like a corn dog with curly fries, and maybe I just kind of like have to put the curly fries on the corn dog to make it look like a tornado. At the end of the day, I'm an adult. I'm not gonna play with my food so it looks like some sort of natural disaster. I mean, if anything on planet Earth deserves to be called the tornado dog, it's probably this one I'm holding right now, isn't it? Am I looking away when I take a bite of this? <laughs> Dang, that's an F5 right there. <laughs> tornado reference. Starla, I'm sorry for what they gave you, but your review is busted. This is gas. 
Well guys, here we are, several hours later, and I survived Dollywood. I'm pretty hardcore on my YouTube channel. In terms of Charlie's review, I waited in lines for an exact total of 56 minutes and 32 seconds. That's a pretty long time because I was only here for about 5 hours. There were tons of things I could have done that didn't have lines, but the coolest rides were definitely packed. Remember, the rules of this video are that I have to leave a 5 star review, but I can't lie. I have to tell the truth. And with that being said, here's my review. Next up, Atlantis. I'm going to Atlantis. It's real. I can't wait to see it. Atlantis Aqua Venture. It's like adventure, but it has the word aqua in it because it's a water park. This place is honestly unbelievable. This is one of, if not the biggest water park in the world. It's located in the Bahamas, which is beautiful. It's all themed around Atlantis, which is the mythical city that reportedly, I, it was not reportedly, it, it's, it got sunken under the sea or something. Pretty awesome theme for a water park. There are slides, there are pools, there is a river, there is beach, there is palm tree, there is food, and there is fun. Now let's not get carried away. It's not all sunshine and rainbows, okay? That's why I'm here. In fact, if you read the reviews before stepping foot at Atlantis, you probably would even turn around and go a different direction. For example, Craig said, stay away from the water rides. They are dangerous. They don't care about your safety. My wife is injured. One star. Yeah. He did attach a photo of his wife's injury. It actually looks pretty bad. If that happened to Haley, I'd be so upset. Good thing she's not here, right? Yeah, she's not here. Mark T said, worst experience of my life. Two sandwiches cost $54. 75% of the pools were closed and they won't let you use half the floats. One star. This review looks identical to those math problems from school that don't make any sense. Mark has $54. He wants two BLT sandwiches, but only has access to 25% of the pools. How many floats are left over? At least Susan's making a little bit more sense. My and Temple all have signs indicating a 48 inch height requirement. Then you reach the top, it says it's actually a 50 50 inch height requirement. My grandson waited 30 minutes and was sent down. Inexcusable. One star. Two things. First of all, it's insane that your grandson is exactly 49 inches. That's the only possibility that he would have gone up thinking he could ride and also get rejected for being too short. Secondly, I'm going down that slide because I've seen an uptick in comments suggesting that I'm the same height as the Rizzler. Are you serious right now? And look, I've never met him. Okay, so I can't, look, I just need to go down the slide. Additionally, many people are saying that the Rapid River is dangerous. Peach Blossom 310 said, Rapid River Ride almost killed me. I have broken toes, fractured foot, severely scraped knees and elbows, and my entire body is bruised. One star. Oh my goodness. Tony said, The Rapid River Ride is very dangerous. I was injured when I flipped backwards and hit my head on the wall. One star. And then Rob Y replied to that and said, I too was injured in the Rapid River. I mean, honestly, reading these reviews is pretty scary, but I just saw people in the Rapid River and they all look so happy. And it's not even that rapid of a river. I mean, this is like very normal. I guess that just means it's time to investigate. Let's test these reviews. Oh, but first I need to find a silly hat. Hello. Do you guys have any silly hats? Silly hat? Maybe that blue one's the silliest. You're doing the scavenge hat? Ah, uh, well, I, I sort of just like getting a silly hat whenever I go do places. All right, that's pretty silly. I'll take this one. So with a new silly hat officially on my head, I tucked away my belongings and set out to test these one star reviews. After I finish testing all these reviews, I'm gonna come sit in that hammock because that looks so nice. I love the beach. I have arrived at the entrance of Rapid River. There is a sign that says it's a high intensity ride, but everyone is just chilling. Everyone's just having a, good, a chill time. I also asked someone on their way out. Hey, is it dangerous? Okay. I seem to be getting mixed opinions because the reviews are screaming, saying, Ryan, don't do this. Whatever you do, don't do this. Turn around, go home. Don't even go close to the Rapid River. Well, guess what? You don't know me. <laughs> I'm freaking crazy. I'm freaking nuts. I see a tube. There's definitely a current. I feel like I'm getting swept away as we speak. All right, here we go. I'm in. Okay guys, I think this is the starting point, so here goes nothing. I'm honestly really enjoying this not so rapid river. <laughs> Everyone's having so much fun, but I keep seeing these signs and all of the reviews still have me on edge. Everything seems super relaxed until. Is this one scary? Oh! <laughs> That was crazy! And just when I thought it was over, I got plunged into more rapids. And suddenly I was terrified, which makes the next clip even worse. This staff member is chasing after me as if my life depends on it. Okay. But it turns out, I think she was just going on her lunch break or something. It was just kind of a weird situation. I, I don't know. There it is. 
the finish line. I actually survived Rapid River. Yes, I know, I know. It's honestly a huge day. Thank you. What do we think? Rapid River scale one to five. Rapid River. <laughs> the Rapid River is busted. Now, may I introduce you to the Mayan Temple? Ooh. The slides look fun, cool, and awesome, but this slide behind me is especially crazy. You slide down the slide, and then you enter into a tunnel filled with sharks and, yeah, pretty much just sharks. You get spit out on the other end, and if you're lucky, you're still breathing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually kind of serious. I'm not really a thrill seeker. This is pretty much the most exhilarating slide at Atlantis. So much so that you have to cross your arms and legs, which means I probably won't be able to film. I mean, look at that. Everyone's screaming. I'm here with a park goer. Kayla. Kayla said she's ridden this slide hundreds of times. Almost. Okay. So I hear that you have to be at least 48 inches tall. You do, yes. Can you just confirm I I, I am? Yes, yeah. You, you're you just over 48 inches tall. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> just over. All right, we'll see. Kayla seems to think that I'm just over 48 inches tall. All that means is testing Susan's review just got way more interesting. Let's do this. Here we go. Can you just record me? My wife said I'm not tall enough for this one. Can you please? <laughs> Look at that. Yep. Over 48 <laughs> inches. <laughs> and now that you guys have seen my height, I'm next up at the Mayan temple. Oh my gosh. Without further ado, here's me going down the slide. That ride was actually insane. I think you can say I'm a certified big boy. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm over 48 inches tall, obviously. Just thought this would be a cool way to address that. Also, Susan, your review is busted. There was no signs about being 50 inches tall. 48 inches is sufficient. I'm gonna do this one next where you can see all the fishes and sharks. I took some time to ride more rides to test Craig's review. He basically said that they're all dangerous. Just another day being tall enough. But frankly, I'm just having fun. I feel like I'm having a brain blast. Oh, oh. Whoa, no way. That's crazy. I just rode all the rides. Have you ridden all the rides today? No, I'm too scared. How, how many of the rides have you been on? Like five of them. And neither of us are injured. That's good. That's always That's good. Craig, Craig, your review, review is busted. busted. Boom. <laughs> But the real question is how much are those sandwiches? I'm eager to test this review, but unfortunately, every single stand that I'm seeing is closed. I'm like, what's going on? I can't be the only one hungry for a sandwich right now. I have breaking news. It's incredibly windy on this side of Atlantis. And also, the BLT shop is closed. That's enough wind for one day. Let's grab some dinner at the coolest Shake Shack in the world. Can I just get a double cheeseburger and a sunset shake? Not only does it have all the cool things that a Shake Shack normally does, like burgers and fries, it has special Bahamas items and an entire aquarium that you can sit next to while you eat. This Shake Shack is goaded. They have this Bahamas exclusive milkshake. Can't wait to try that. I got all this food for $34 and that includes gratuity. The Shake Shack is in the park as well, so I'm having a really hard time believing that two BLTs cost you $54. Mark. Is that really everything you ordered, Mark? Show us the receipt. Review busted. <laughs> I've always wanted to bust a review sitting next to an aquarium. With that being said, let's dig in. Where else can you enjoy a double smash burger in front of a giant fish tank? As you can tell, I'm enjoying myself. I did get scared a couple times, but I mean, that's normal. That's like a normal thing for me. The cool thing about Atlantis is that it's actually a resort as well. So you can sleep here. And that's exactly what I did. And I wrote my review from my bed. Here we are. I got my silly hat early, if that was not apparent. I saw it in a store on the way over here. I was like, okay, that's the one. So here I am, it's crazy. Anyways, here's where it all began. My fear of roller coasters, 15 years later, I'm back at Six Flags. At the end of the day, the question is, is my fear rational? Paul would say so. I don't know how they haven't had a federal investigation into their price gouging. $30 for a single pizza? How is this legal? It's insane. One star. I know that's not about the rides, but I just wanted an excuse to eat pizza tonight. Okay, and that's not the only review about expensive expensive food prices. Listen to this from CJ. Worst place ever if you're hungry. You have to spend way too much money on food. I bought hot dog for $18, man. These prices are crazy. And the workers are so mean. My kid was drowning in the water park and they said, someone get your kid. Now he's pretending when he was really drowning. I had to take him to the hospital. He's there right now. One star. FEB said, Six Flags stole my money. One star. Effie, that's just vague and cryptic. 
Let's be honest. Zaxi B said, Be careful. There is a man with a black backpack, Nike shoes, white shorts, and is there all the time. Follows you around in the shops and in the restroom. I think he is here from the Matrix. One star. Well, that's horrifying. I guess I'll be on the lookout for a man with a black backpack, Nike shoes, white shorts, and is there all the time. Sounds like literally everyone at this park. <laughs> Anyways, Josie B said, They call it amusement park because this place is joke. Don't ride Dr. Diabolicals. You feel horrible after. Wanna die right now? Don't do it. One star. Josie, I hate to say this, but I'm gonna do it. I feel sick to my stomach even looking at that one. I came here for a reason and I'm not just gonna go home. Okay, no, I know, I gotta, I gotta do this. And lastly, Hugo said, Six Flags, it was a great experience until the Iron Rattler. I passed out and lost my glasses and vomit all over. Now I have a three hour drive, no clothes, no glasses, never coming back. One star. No clothes? Why are you naked, Hugo? Come on. Come on, Hugo. Guys, just spam the comments with come on, Hugo. He's better than this. He's better than that. Vomit or not, we gotta get our priorities straight. This review is the reason I haven't ridden roller coasters in so long. The Iron Rattler, when I was 11, made me so sick that I vowed to never ride it ever again. Oh! Until today. Ah. <laughs> Sorry guys, I know that was really scary. But I decided to start walking around and found something much scarier, the Iron Rattler. We'll revisit that later. We've got a lot to test before I have to face my biggest fear. Let's go to Dr. Diabolicals to test our first review. Behind me is one of the two roller coasters I plan on conquering today. But you know what else can feel like a roller coaster? Black Friday. <laughs> what the heck? Well, as you guys know, I've always been entrepreneurial, and the reason I started my YouTube channel in the first place was to sell my first product ever, a water bottle. Well, eight years later, I now have my own candy brand called Joyride, and it's been going really well, but I've still never pulled off a successful Black Friday sale. Until now, thanks to Shopify. Sorry guys, I'm going somewhere else real quick. Not only is Shopify the best commerce platform in the world, they are constantly innovating and finding new ways to make it even easier to build a business. For Black Friday, I made this special Joyride variety pack with five of our most popular candies. And using Shopify magic, I added the product image seamlessly using my phone. I wanna give a 30% discount to you guys watching this right now from Black Friday to Cyber Monday. And that was super easy to set up. But what if I wanted to offer this discount to someone in person? Shopify's app now has tap to pay for iPhone and Android. I've never sold Joyride to someone in person, but just to show you how easy it is, here goes nothing. <laughs> oh, what do you want from me, man? I want to buy your variety pack. Oh, first of all, are you from the Matrix? Yes. Okay, he has the variety pack, and here is Shopify tap to pay. I'm charging him $30 because I'm uncomfortable, but you'll get a better discount, and it should be this easy. There you go. Thanks, man. Enjoy. Thanks to Shopify, it's never been easier to start a business and make your first dollar. So please go to shopify.com slash Ryan Trahan and start a free trial. That guy did say he was from the Matrix, so I guess Zaxi's review is valid? Unfortunately, he did look a lot like my friend Zach, so that's kind of weird. It's also completely dark outside now, which makes testing these reviews even scarier. But they're not going to test themselves. Let's do this. I got to go this way, actually. Now that we've tested our first review, it's time to face my fears and hopefully get off the ride with my clothes still on. Behind me right now is Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. This is the one that Josie specifically said, don't do it. She wants to die after doing this ride. Literally every single time I see people go down the ride, they are screaming, it just happened. Did you hear that? It literally just happened. It's the world's steepest dive roller coaster. It goes up to 150 feet and reaches 60 miles an hour. For my non-American friends, that means it's pretty quick. <laughs> No, here's, here's the conversion for, for real. The point is, I don't know if I'm even gonna make it to the Iron Rattler because this ride behind me could be the death of me, <laughs> according to Josie. Now, Josie actually said, basically said that. Let's ride it. There's more screaming. There's, there's constant screaming behind me. As I'm walking up to this ride, I want you to understand that I'm actually terrified of things like this. I literally haven't gone upside down on a roller coaster ever, so please don't make fun of me. I got in line, and we walked through what felt like a movie set. There's this fear meter that accurately depicts your emotions, apparently. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. I took off my silly hat and got seated for what could actually be the last roller coaster of my life. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My army of creatures need your Oh my gosh, this doesn't make any sense. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh! 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 Oh my gosh!
Oh, it's still going? That was the worst part. This can't continue. I'm not so good. Oh. oh, is it over? It's over, it's over. Oh, it's over. It's over. I grabbed my silly hat and put it on my head, a changed man. Josie, unfortunately, your review is tested and busted. I'm still decompressing from that ride. I honestly can't believe I'm sharing that footage with anyone, much less all of you. I love you, I appreciate you, but that was intimate. Oh! Anyways, I walked pretty much through the entire park and I finally located hot dogs. Hello, um, can I get a hot dog? Uh, that's gonna be it. 919, all right. Thank you so much. Okay, CJ, you said the hot dogs were $18. This hot dog was about half that price. Now I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and assume that the hot dog is not satiating enough in itself, which requires you to buy two of them. I'll be the judge of that. CJ, I absolutely housed that hot dog, and it was satiating, and your review is busted. I'm so sorry, CJ. I really am. Now we know that CJ was lying in his one-star review of the hot dogs, but the real question is Paul about the pizza. He said the pizza was $30. Let's go find the pizza. I just found the pizzeria that Paul was talking about. Let's go see if they're $30 pizzas. Expensive pizza. What's that about? It itches. It itches on my head. Uh, can I just get a slice of pepperoni pizza and a water cup? I, for one, am in shock. This single slice of pizza was $17.99. Getting an entire pizza for nearly $40 is crazy. There's a lot of things you can get in this world for $40. Like most things, I would say. Is it good? It's good, but that doesn't change what I'm about to say. This is actually a historical moment because in my entire One Star series on my channel, we have never had a double valid review. Not only is Paul's review about the $30 pizza valid, FEB's review saying Six Flags stole my money is valid. Double valid. Double valid. Let's go. I literally couldn't get myself to buy that entire pizza, but I will eat this slice. And now that I am filled to the brim with pizza and hot dogs, it's time. The moment I've been dreading to face my entire life. 15 years ago, I stepped foot into this entrance right here, and I told myself I'd never come back. But you know what? If I've learned anything in life, it's that promises are meant to be broken. That's not very good advice, especially to my young audience. I'm not even sure I actually believe that, but I'm just trying to sound really freaking awesome right now. <laughs> Anything I can do to get over what I'm feeling in my tummy right now. The Iron Rattler is one of the craziest roller coasters in all of America. It boasts a 171 foot drop and reaches top speeds of 70 miles an hour. For my non-Americans, that means it's real. I'm not gonna say that again. Here's the conversion. I'll just start putting conversions on screen. I mean, honestly, I'm so serious when I say I'm genuinely terrified and I'm not looking forward to this, but the only way to conquer your fears is to run right through them or to ride them. That's, please don't quote me on that because it's not applicable to anything other than this particular situation. All right, let's do this. As I'm walking up to the Iron Rattler, I'm brought back to the first time I was at this park 15 years ago. Literally nothing has changed about it, but I know that I'm a little bit different than I used to be. But even then, as I watch this cart leave, Fear fills my stomach. It might just be the oil from the pepperoni. Regardless, I'm not feeling good. Don't judge me. What you're about to watch is Silly Hat Ryan having a life-changing experience. I'm just going start going fast. It goes up this hill, and then the whole thing is fast when you go over the top. Oh. We just drop everything. Are you serious? Yeah. absolutely tossed around on this iron rattler and this dude next to me is screaming for joy Woo! 
no vomit, I'm fully clothed, and I had a blast. Thank you to everyone who's been going to Target and getting Joyride. And finally, YouTube thinks you'll love this video on the screen right now, so just give it a click. Give it a watch. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. Mwah.